Well, today's topic, we're going to talk about book. See, yeah, so I became an author. Well, I was planning to be an author. So I'll go back in time. But you know, this is a sketch that I drew. Got the God's on Earth seven flag up in here. The flag is seven. I got a satellite, you know, from out of the Bible, Christian book. Revelation 15, verse 19 says, Out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he shall judge the nations. So I decided to use that scripture on this satellite, you know, from other Jamaica, you know, the Caribbean, the six continents I put on this. Yeah, so this is a little learning lesson. So, yeah, so I just got the book 2020, so we're going to go back in time now. After I made my name from Hurricane Katrina, it's the second book I wrote. This, this was the first book I wrote that got published, you know, in Jamaica, you know. So trying to create my own little book and none of this book didn't reach bookshelf <laughs> they wouldn't when i wrote the christian mainstream media they didn't answer me so i gotta express myself on the white american man social media because i don't break no rules but anyway so we're going back in time after hurricane katrina after math when president bush former president bush neglected the people of new orleans now hurricane katrina damaged new orleans so out of my mouth in jamaica lindsay st catherine you know because the black boats, why Bush laid a, a slow response. He didn't rush to do nothing. He was busy pointing finger to other members in his administration. When the media came to ask him, what the government gonna do now? Now that they seen witness the damage of this, the destruction that Hurricane Katrina had done to New Orleans. So Bush was po pointing the blame game. But like I said, I didn't see racism in the media in America, so I couldn't say it was racism. I probably had thoughts about it, but you know, I cannot speak for people. People speak for themselves. I can't speak for black Americans. So out of my own Jamaican head, because of the black votes down there, why Bush went lower. I swear politics, why some Christians say I swear water. You know, you know, so I'm, I became one of the satellite from September 2005. Well, I do my own calculation, I think like three days after. <laughs> but anyway, I could be wrong anyway, but I calculate my own sake. I got a good memory. So anyway, so from September, so December 2005, there was I was going nowhere. I was in the dilemma between the JLP opposition party and the PMP, the government party. They were the government, because the JLP was out of government from 1988. So they were just opposition, desperate for being in power. I was running with the JLP because there's a lot of things I didn't like from the media since I got deported back to Jamaica. You know, mismanaging money, the PMP do it and the, the Prime Minister, P.J. Person, he didn't fire them or make them resign. He just reshuffled them. So there was a lot of slackness. When people in power too long, they get careless. So that was what I witnessed. So I rode with the JLP. They end up winning. So I didn't care about politicians because they work in their workplace, their house of parliament. That's where they were. But the street people, in the city, they always bring in politics to me and they politicize me, sexualize me. They bisexualize me, christianize me on the streets. No, not at that, as I know when the mainstream media radio or tv just our newspaper just chatting now one thing i have to say about the black christian people even if it's on rasta because they're bisexual they're instigating ones the bisexual ones when they see indian chinese or white people with the same sexuality they feel connected now i'm i'm, I'm straight heterosexual what they call it i don't feel i'm connected with white chinese or indian who are straight who are heterosexual people i don't know those people we got different identities so how can i feel i'm connected with people i'm connected to people to civilization understanding one and another so that was the lens they don't know what they care they just wanted to just repeat to the airwave and make a politician feel good or whoever feel good you know the world or whatever but i'm talking about jamaica so from september to december nothing so i decided no i'm gonna come out of this now I'm a person who read a lot of newspapers, you know, so I decided to do my own planning you now. This was the book I started writing into. And the first thing out January. You no, know, it when, when my grandmother alive, she had two work, workers there. They're Christian, you know. I know I couldn't talk to them straight. They had to repeat after me, because that's what the system is. You know, the list of the politicians and TV or radio and radio station, this jack is running them up behind my back when I'm not listening to the radio. Whatever goodness they're talking, I'll make it sound good. So so I knew I couldn't do none. So I knew that they, when I thought they repeat, I said, I'm gonna work my brain now. So the pen was a sword for me. That's what Marcus Garvey said, the pen is mightier than the sword. 
and the mouth, the tongue shall be, can be mightier than the pen or the sword too. So I decided to write in this book. So a lot of people didn't like to hear about Islam, why even five percenters, you know, a lot of five percent, they didn't like it, but I kept discussing things, cause what's, what's the big thing? Because I made my name, I gotta change. The only change that was went to the Muslim mosque and took a Shahada, that was the May. So I wrote in three of these books, not three of these books. This was first one, then a bigger one, then a bigger one. And I filled them up. So it was from January to July. When my grandmother died, everything stopped. So when I do the first writing in this book now, you know, right up in this book, the first thing I write was in the name of Allah, for Islam to get its independent from the West, they have to withdraw from NATO. NATO means North Atlantic Treaty Organization. And the Muslims had to create their own organization, which is NATO. And that's it like that. But at the end, they say, when Islam go to a change, Allah go to a change. One will bond who determined that it to bring about a change. So that was the first thing I write to connect with Islam, not do with Christianity or symbolism against white people or white against white Jesus or black Jesus or black God or black Jesus. So I made my name. It was time for me to make a life for myself. And even that day when I made my name, I couldn't look at an Indian woman or any other woman. We went them other black people. Regardless if there was bisexual, I so said they come about love. You know, some hope I get some woman to look good. I look good already, 21st century. Looking good to have a white woman gonna make me look more better. But that's the mental that Christian people, they like their history. You know, but as months, as weeks, as days, weeks, months, I just start look at Indian women to have my pleasure. But it never worked. The black were instigated. But sure, you guy. Myers would teach that the black woman was the backbone for the black man when he'd been through all of his worst times. So you stick to him. But this is Jamaica. I didn't make my name and separate people. So the Christian would separate me from people while they surviving from people. I become friends because they born here. I, did, I born here, but I didn't grow here. So this is what the black Christian have it. Even some Rasa too, but the Rasa wasn't that. They weren't that bad because they got, you know. But the Christian, because this, they said this is their revelation, you know. So anyway. So I took the revelation from the Bible from, you know, so January I wrote this, that was it. I didn't care what, what people were saying in the street about scripture. I'll make my plan. Then I started writing about my other, my other friend into, in February I started writing about Black History, you know, the founder of the Gods and Earth, a little Elijah Muhammad. I think that was the most time I talked about black people in America was February, right? Black History Month. And the rest was all about the Middle East and local politics and American politics, George Bush, you know, so. That was how I did it. So from January to July, well, the workers will read out everything I write. Every day or every week, because I didn't write every day. I sure didn't write every week, so I skipped days because I don't want to make it look like, you know, so I write with a date. When I wrote the first thing, it didn't have a half a date. The next time I wrote, I put a date to keep in track. So this book is credible, credibility, and it's historical. The rhetoric, writings, of Jamaica satellite, <laughs> yeah, that's what I put it. Rhetoric rising of Jamaica satellite, and you know, and at, at the footer, rhetoric vice, yeah, at the footer, you have rhetoric vice at the footer. So, so, yeah, so I just want to explain this book to the viewers, you know, from January 2006 to July, this book was completed, and I didn't have a computer, I didn't know people with computer, <laughs> so when I got my computer, I tried to do it, but I still didn't understand how to put it. In fact, I want to put, I took a lot of things in it, but I want to put more images and stuff in it, but the price. So when you're doing something, it's good to work with people who work with you, understand you. So I got to give respect to Central Tech because they understand what I'm, that, what I'm trying to do. And I'm the one who format this book because when I went there, the lady sent me the format page and my computer, she said, once I have word publisher, you could do your own format, format. because some of them might eh, formatting all this stuff, Muslim stuff and, Islam stuff, it ain't not about Christian. So, which I understand some of them. Some of them have sad faces. Some of them, in other places, people charge me big money. Yeah, some places, which are just because it's me. So, so I'm glad for Central Tech. But like I said, this was um, Rhetoric Vice, the Rhetoric writings, writings of Jamaica Satellite. So, on the white man media, white man America media, I can express myself. I couldn't do it on social media. I mean, and where my other book at? Yeah, the first book I was the Hurricane Katrina Solomon. Not, not even on the bookshelf, mainstream media, they want me on it. Because when I wrote the Express the Book, then I wrote, which was this book here, excuse me. 
they didn't want me on the book to discuss Hurricane Katrina Salaman. So they didn't write me back. They just ignore me. So Christian mainstream media. So I'm satisfied on the white, white American social media. I didn't violate their rules. So that's why I'm on it to this day. So it's about Israel. So I talk about Islam is to withdraw from the, the NATO, create their own, create organization. And that's the only way they could be independent. Because when Marcus got Jamaica hero, when he went to America, he went amongst the NWCP, National Advancement Association for Colored People. But God went there and see white people, Jews too, was the founders, was the rulers of the NWCP. So how could you want to be advanced and the same white people? You oppressors are descended from slavery because that was 19, Marcus God went to America 19, 13 or 14. So it was racism then. So God couldn't believe to be a part of a white people organization. That's going to help black people reach advancements now. So he came back to Jamaica, get the Universal Negro Improvement Association, UNI, and bring it back, bring it to America, a black owned organization. You know, so like it's like the Muslim, you could never be, you can't help each other being part of NATO. You got to withdraw, do your own thing you'll be a better coalition because NATO is run by Christians. You should know that by then. You know, you got to do your own thing. And that's what I see. So when I took my child in May to be a practical Muslim, because, you know, I would say I'm a Muslim because, you know, the lessons came from Muslim temper. You know, so you'll be a Muslim, the body, and lobby, the mind. But, you know, you still, I still connect to Islam. So I did take a shahada in the name of Allah, Bismillah, Krakman, and he. But the Muslim didn't like me as well. I had to watch myself. I didn't trust an Indian Muslim anyway. But... And the sexuality, because in Islam, they said only Allah judge, but those Muslims judge my sexuality. So from 2005, the end of 2005, I started going around them. Till about 2007 or 8, and I stopped going around them, you know. So every time I go there, I always leave uncomfortable. They, they just keep my distance. So I didn't need them to support Palestinians. I did to the music, dance, you know what I'm saying? I said, so political Gaza, even talk about music in here, because they didn't want me to hold the microphone back then. Because they're busy worrying about what am I saying and what am I say. But I'm not a Christian. What do you want me to say? Pretend to be a Christian? What is so hard for me to pretend to be a Christian? And you don't see that mainstream media to even to make it look good? <laughs> you know, so, but no respect. But that's Jamaican people. A lot of them like history. But she had a militant, you know. So it's a little breakthrough at the book. Rhetoric writing of Jamaican satellite with the gods on her front cover here. But this just... Like I said, it's a copy. The book going to be credible. It's credibility in it, and it's historical. So just by the pen, I decided to craft and just reaching this publication. It's so maybe by a couple of months, I might get a few copies to sell it. Because when I do write a books, it don't really get seller. I got another one, Encountering Black Americans. I don't chase the money. I just like doing them, doing like writing. I don't forget my dictionary. I like to keep up with definition of things. So. Out, G. Alistair Militant, DJ Activist. <laughs>